After spending a year and a half as a machine learning engineer, along with three internships and jobs in the machine learning fields, I want to share a list of all resources, courses, and books that have been invaluable in my journey. If you are aiming for a career in machine learning and data science, these recommendations will help you to build a strong foundation. There's quite a lot to cover, so I'll break it down into the following categories and definitely keep watching it till the end. First, programming. Second, maths and stats. Third, machine learning. Fourth, software engineering and deployment. Fifth, other media like blogs, newsletters, who to follow, and YouTube channels. So let's get into it. As a machine learning engineer, most of the work in machine learning and data science domain is done in Python and SQL. However, in my roles, I've also used a bit of TypeScript for client apps and a little bit of C++ for performance critical applications. Python is the primary language that is used in data science and machine learning domain. Even though the resources that I will give you will help you to learn Python really well, However, the best feature for anything is practice. So these are all the resources for Python that I used. First is the free CodeCamp Python course. It's only four hours long and it's the first course that I had used when I was first starting out to learn Python in my first year of college. You can easily finish it in a day. Second one is the Python for everybody specialization. If you want to learn via an end-to-end -end course, this is the most recommended course out there. Third is Programming in Python course by Educative.io. It has 211 lessons and is 58 hours long. You can easily finish it in a week. It has every concept under the sun and it has many Python projects that will help you as well. Loops, functions, classes, decorators, you name it and this course has it. I recommend this to many people because it's the best course I still use today. Fourth, Hackerank and LeetCode. These are amazing coding interview platforms that I keep using it for preparing for Python coding interviews, particularly for entry-level positions. Many of the recruiters, they take the exams, the online assessments via these platforms. So it's very good and very essential that you familiarize yourself with these platforms, even though you know Python really well. Fifth, an amazing free site, W3Schools. I still use it to this day, and it was the best site that we all used before, you know, chat GPT and AI took over the world. Now for SQL, I recommend an introductory guide to SQL. It's a 13 hour long course and the best one so far. I used this course to learn SQL in my second year of college when I was first starting out into machine learning field. Second is definitely learnsql.com, the best free interactive site that you can use for learning SQL, practicing SQL, any kind of queries and everything. Third is definitely HackerRank and LeetCool. As I said, these are the platforms that are often used by recruiters to take online assessments when you are applying to the companies. Hacker Earth is another such example. And there are many competitions that are happening on Hacker Earth all the time to get into companies like IBM, TCS, Wipro, Infosys, etc. So it's best that you familiarize yourself with these platforms. Machine learning is very important and I'll teach you about linear regression. So you can understand whose voice this is, right? It is the voice of the hottest celebrity in the world right now. Yeah, you can clone any voice and you can design any kind of voice, either energetic storytelling, you have the power or to calm, grow. soothing, ASMR voice, or warm, you casual voice, or single... any kind of other voices you, you want the with the help of NodeGPT's every... AI voice designer feature. And you can have them read to you all the important concepts and maths concepts, stats concepts, machine learning, deep learning concepts that you find boring to read from huge blocks of text online. Now comes for C++. As I said, I often use C++ in my current role. So the best resources for that is Learn CPP Fundamentals, which is the best course on educative.io, and I often use it. It has all the concepts explained in a very good way. Loops, pointers, functions, OOP concepts, templates, etc. Next comes Maths and Stats. The following one book and two YouTube channels will help you to grasp all the basic and advanced concepts of maths and statistics that you will need for your journey of machine learning and data science because a solid grasp on maths and stats is very, very important. Okay, so the first is definitely the practical statistics for data scientists book. This would be it if I could recommend just one book for covering all the statistics knowledge that you will ever need. This, the main advantage of this is that it covers only the statistics knowledge that you will need for data scientists along with hands-on Python examples. Second is definitely StatQuest with Josh Starmer. This is probably the best YouTube channel. I often recommend it to everybody who asks me about stats because it covers, it breaks down the complex 
difficult mathematical concepts of statistics and maths in machine learning into simple digestible lessons. Third is definitely the Andrew Angie's maths courses on YouTube. Why? Because these cover probability and statistics full playlist, linear algebra full playlist, and calculus full playlist. And these are amazing because they cover all the concepts with the OG, the original creator of machine learning, who is Andrew Angie. Now comes machine learning. Obviously, machine learning is the heart of this field and probably the only reason you want to get into the data science and machine learning domain. If I had to recommend only one book, it would be Hands-On Machine Learning with Scikit-Learn, Keras, and TensorFlow. Probably the best book under the sun because it has all the machine learning concepts and the algorithms that you will ever need. Whenever I feel conflicted about any topic, I go through this book. It has hands-on machine learning projects with Scikit-Learn, Keras, TensorFlow, amazing crystal clear explanations of every concept. And I definitely recommend it and give it a 10 out of 10. However, if you prefer courses, then I would recommend going after Andrew NG's course of specialization on machine learning. It has supervised machine learning algorithms, unsupervised machine learning algorithms, advanced machine learning algorithms, all the concepts it will have. Because if you prefer courses, this is the OG one and the best one to go. Secondly, is the deep learning specialization by Andrew NG. It also has all the machine learning concepts, the deep learning concepts that you will ever need for data science and machine learning domain. I highly recommend it and I give it a 10 out of 10 because Andrew NG is the OG person of machine learning. Definitely go after all Andrew NG's courses if you want to get the best of the best knowledge. Now comes software engineering and deployment. As a machine learning engineer, I often get asked the question whether we really need data structures and algorithms, DSA, and other software engineering principles when you're trying to get into the machine learning domain. Let me clear it once and for all. So machine learning engineering is 40% machine learning and 60% software engineering. However, data science is almost 100% machine learning. So, but there's a catch. Machine learning engineers earn almost double or triple the amount of data scientists and data analysts. So definitely pick your battles. Okay, so for data structures and algorithms and for software engineering principles and deployment, first I recommend Neat Code, which is Neat Code is a playlist which explains all the concepts of data structures and algorithms, DSA, in great detail, dynamic programming, greedy, easy and medium problems. Secondly, is 3Blue One Round, which is amazing for visualizations of all the concepts and algorithms that you will ever need. Third is Geeks for Geeks. It's an excellent platform that has all the concepts and it divides all the problems into very easy, easy, basic, medium, and hard. Definitely try out all the problems in the correct order that is given there till medium problems because hard problems you won't need in machine learning. Now comes AWS certifications. AWS certifications are very, very important. I did not personally get it because I learned on the job, but I use cloud and cloud concepts very much all the time. And it can help you to stand out from the crowd as well. Next comes MLOps, that is software engineering principles in machine learning domain. So building up machine learning pipeline from scratch, from end to end. The best course is this for that. And this is the course that I often use in my job as well to recommend and I therefore recommend it to everyone. Next is Git and GitHub. This is something I learned on the job. You don't need to learn anything specifically. And last but not the least is system design. Bro, system design is so, so important. I cannot focus on this as much. Low level design, high level design, OOP concepts, everything, the distributor system for practitioners, all these concepts, these are all explained in very, very detailed with very, very good examples like LinkedIn feed designing, YouTube channel designing, Netflix designing, all these concepts. Machine learning, specifically with machine learning concepts, machine learning system design, agentic AI system design, generative AI system design, all of this you can find in this course, fully and functionally and perfect. I often use it even in my continuously in my current role, and I highly, highly recommend it. Now comes other media like blogs, newsletters, YouTube channels, and more. Staying up to date with the latest trends and learning from the community is just as important as formal study and courses. On LinkedIn, I recommend following top creators like Andrew NG, Chief Quinn, etc. And definitely myself. On Twitter and X, I recommend following these creators. And these are some of the best newsletters that I follow in my daily job as well. And I definitely recommend it 100 out of 100. And last but not the least, I recommend subscribing to these few YouTube channels. 
which are amazing in every aspect. And definitely subscribe to me instead because I'll keep coming with all these resources and courses that will make a huge difference in your career. All the best and see you next time.